Alright everyone, welcome to the official very first episode of Metal Gear Solid as we take this baby on once and for all, finally, after all this time. This is the biggest PS1 game ever, let me tell you that. It's one hell of a classic game and I can't wait to get through with it as I, Pro Galaxium 9513, will give you my let's play of this. And when you start talking as long as you are, trying to explain things and have a pretty good introduction, the screen wants to go black and show you the demo once again <laughs> for, for the game when you have it sit there for a long time, you know, just idly standing there by. So let me just press start so we can kind of avoid that. So yes, the previous episode was pretty much our introduction or prologue to the whole history and story and the series of such a game. Let me press up and down as well so we don't have to go through all that again. So we're, so we're actually being active in the game so it doesn't cut back. But yes, um, we pretty much gave you the whole beginning of Metal Gear, you know, the previous two games. Which to me is even a prologue, because like this right here, Metal Gear Solid, is when the game actually starts for me. Because, well, first of all, this is the very first time I ever heard or played Metal Gear at all. I didn't even know about the NES versions until much later in my lifetime, in my life lifespan. But yeah, so we'll probably play those whenever I get my actual Nintendo Entertainment System fixed. I still have that from a couple years ago and you know the whole infamous 72 pin connector of such a bitch <laughs> so that that's that's what's wrong with it when I first bought it used so I just have to fix that up and I'll be able to play some NES games for you guys because I'll, I'll have the setup for sure I have a VCR that I'll just connect to that and the VCR will be connected to the Elgato and all this other crap the switch not the Nintendo Switch, but the video audio Switch that I use for all these games to hook up. But yeah, so we've seen that, you know, the very first two games of Metal Gear, which brings us to this point. And then we also seen the mission briefing right here, the briefing, to get us insight of what's going on in this game. So... Before anything, also, the main point was also go through VR training, which we did, so we won't be as rusty in this game, you know, as, as we shouldn't be. So hopefully that worked out, and that we're pretty good at this damn game. <laughs> so guys, this game is cutscene heavy as, long, as much as a, it's, it's a game. It doesn't really deprive it of it being a game. You know, I really do love the cinematics and the and the story that it gives you and it presents to to you. That's what makes it a PS1 classic for sure, most definitely. Uh, it it makes it better, honestly. You know, nowadays you get to, you pretty much see most of that now in games. But back in the day, you know, it was something new, but it was also something special. Like it was paced right, it was detailed correctly. It's just. I don't know, man. Just something about this one. Out of all the Metal Gear games, this one is my absolute favorite. I can always come back and play it over and over again. It's just like my Crash 3 or my Super Mario World, you know? Never gets old. So, guys, just giving you that warning, I'll just mute the mic when this cutscenes play. I'll probably commentate during some parts, you know, when, when there's no dialogue. Other than that, guys, this is one hell of a huge game. And I am proud to present it to you on my behalf. Of my side of things, you know, my story. And that's the whole, part, the whole point of this channel. So, let's press circle to accept, not X. That's something you have to get used to in this game. X is back and circle is correct. Correctness. So as I do that, let's go on with our tactical espionage action, our tea of this game. Let's have a cup of tea while we play this game, guys, of Metal Gear Solid. 
So let's go. Okay, so there's difficulties of the game level that we want to go through. Obviously, we're not pansies to go on easy and screw going on hard because then the radar's off. And we don't want to go through the game the first time, at least, with the radar off. So we want to use the radar to our advantage and just play the game normally. You know, because that's how we roll. And you guys already know how we roll with the mushrooms. Yeah, that, I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck that means. That's just something I've said on my very first Super Mario Bros. episode. So, <laughs> whatever the fuck that means. It's our fucking catchphrase now, so fuck it. Let's go, guys. Let us begin Metal Gear Solid. One hell of a game. PS1 Classic. Pro Galaxy 9513. Let's do it. And yes, good old music as our boy David Hader, who plays Solid Snake, swims his way through the Alaskan water to infiltrate the base. That is... Round Shadow Moses. As we take on Foxhound once again. A team that we were a part of at one point, and our colonel the commander of. Now we take him on. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of balls and flies. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Yes, we are. Let's go, baby. It is time. We are ready. So here we are. So first things first, let's actually go back under the water so we can get some rations. And what they do is that it restores your life. So when you're low on life, just have it equipped right there and press circle and you should be good. Or you can do it on the main menu right here. Well, use by pressing circle while the menu is open. What am I saying? But if you do have it equipped like that and you're taking damage, it will do it automatically for you. So you don't have to worry about going through the menu and manually doing it yourself. So there's nothing over there. And up here is our sack, uh, eh. Second, uh, our second ration, ration right there, and we can only use two at a time. So I will be going for that because we do need him. Lord knows we need him, just in case we do get caught. Even though we were supposed to be stealthy, as we've practiced in the VR training. So look at this guy; he's right there, thanks to the radar we know. And then puddles, splishy splashy. You can also go in the water from right here, I do believe. Press circle, square, triangle. I thought you could. Maybe if you're if you're caught and the alert system is going on, you can also crawl underneath here. But we don't want to because he's coming this way, thanks to the radar, like I said. So we're going to definitely use that to our advantage. He's coming this way. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right. Let's not. Oh, deal with him. Okay. All right. Instead of doing that, I need to start like pressing, like tapping it, so we can just walk over it without splishy splashing while they're around so they hear so they don't hear us so we're here at the elevator let's press select for a colonel to answer the call snake there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground you'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down 
You better hide somewhere. Alright. And the best place to hide is right here, honestly. And here's another ration anyway, so you don't really have to get the other one. Just one of those. So I guess the best one to get was the one down there in the right corner. And then just come up here with this one instead of going in the water at all. But just showing you most of the stuff, showing you everything. You also press triangle, of course, to be in first person view, but I need to get back over here because this guy's coming. Oh my goodness. He's gonna catch us. Oh. Maybe if I knocked on here. <laughs> I don't want to risk that. Let's just be stealthy and get through this. Because our mission is to infiltrate the base and not get caught and go up the elevator. Because our mission is to save Donald Anderson. I think our commander in chief. And then the. And the whatever guy. Kenneth. Kenneth Baker. Kenneth Baker. Of, uh corporation of arms tech so as much as I played this game the story is kind of fluffy to me fuzzy I need to remember it a bit more but yeah so we used to be part of Foxhound now we're not now we're on our own after the first two games and our colonel used to be the commander of Foxhound but of course stuff happened with Big Boss and we got betrayed and all that so now those are the guys that are taking over Foxhound in this generation as Snake is ready and prepared going up the elevator to infiltrate even more into this base as he reveals his sexy pixelated face that is Snake and the game created by the one and only Hideo Kojima one hell of a game and that is this that is Metal Gear Solid our tactical espionage, espionage action, RT, as he looks up on the title screen. So yeah, our mission is just to infiltrate, be stealthy, don't get caught, because we're the only guy coming in through here. One man SDV mission, or SVD, yeah, SVD. So, that's what we went through VR for, and we're here, getting in there to save our two guys, all in this one episode for sure. So here we are in Shadow Moses. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Thanks to the VR training I did on board the Discovery. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. That's funny how Snake mentioned the VR training, because that is what we took, and that's what we did to be this good at the game. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. kind of hard to do when the fucking controller is vibrating like crazy because of this high D. Thanks, Liquid. How the fuck do you have the same code name as me? You're just Liquid, I'm solid, and we're both snakes. Ugh. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. 
<laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Right. Thanks for explaining that now. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. Write that down. Dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Yeah, as bad as cigarettes are, they will actually be helpful later on in the game. So thank you, Snake. Such a legend. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. So, we're not going that way, I see. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. We'll do it, no worries. But we'll actually go up on the top one, uh, the air duct, later, because we can actually have access there. But we're not going to go through there right now because, yeah, there's too many guys over here and we will get caught and we do need to get armed. So, this way is definitely not a way to go, considering, oh, well, considering I get this first. Oh, yeah, it's a ration, that's right. So yeah, it's not really much to do over here. There's the stairs we can go up to go through that little tunnel, the air duct. But the way we usually like going would be over here through this. Go, 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 go. Don't get caught. All right, wait until that's spread out a bit more. We can get that thing in the middle, which is something we do need. Give me that, the shaft grenades. It's gonna, well, you'll see right here. Surveillance camera? Yeah, holy crap, they have surveillance cameras. 
So what that does actually disables electronics, which which would be this. We can throw it right now and we'll be good. It doesn't really alarm the enemies. It just makes a little explosion and little pixie dusts, you can say. <laughs> and I'll get them. And those are the stun grenades for the enemies. So we can just crawl our way through like the snake we are. To get over that. Or under that, I should say. So there's the duct we want to go through. But it also has a surveillance camera. So that's why we need the shaft grenades. Because then we can disable those, of course. And here's our SOCOM. The gun we've always been wanting. The one that we've been working with in VR training. So... Uh, usually I use the shaft grenades first, but we're already about to get caught by this guy that's coming near the vehicle. I'm supposed to stun them, so they won't see us, but here, here he is. So let's avoid him, of course, because that's what Metal Gear is. Oop, don't get back in there. We need to get out. Alright, he's still over there. Still over there. Stop going in there. I just want to see something real quick. Oh my god, I'm probably going to fucking die. Alright. 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 Don't turn around. Alright, here's what I want to do. Here I am. I'm going to knock on the front door and see if I can get in. Hello? Let me in. Please? Please? Alright, well, they ain't going to let me in. Alright, so because this guy over here with the surveillance camera, he's actually sleeping, so we don't really need to use the stun grenade. I usually do that. I throw this, and then I throw the stun grenade, but I think we should be good by just throwing this. We can just throw it anywhere. I think it woke him up. Alright. Flip his ass. Go. Ah! Who's calling me? Someone was calling me. Whatever. Just go. Just go. We got spotted. That's fine. That is fine. That's why I use the stun grenades, though, for real. Because then, sure, you'll get caught, but they'll be knocked out. But it's fine. We made it through the air duct. This is where we need to go to infiltrate and save the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson. That's our first mission. Oh, mice. And someone else is calling me. Who is it? Snake. This is McDonald Miller. I was about to say, who the Good fuck are you? Time. Master. What are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.8. Write that down. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes, the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Oh, right. But actually, you don't really have to write down these numbers. We used to back in the day, but you can just press select and then press down. And then all the numbers are saved there, so it's like... It's kind of funny that we went through all those troubles and issues just just for this right here but yeah so I'll do my best to call them most of the time for help just you know for story and dialogue show all the that off because that's what we do but until then let's just heed his words as he'll help us survive in this Alaskan weather because that's where we are in Alaska that's where the base is, that's where we're infiltrating, where Foxhound is being at. Trying to take over the world now, the new generation of Foxhound. So, yeah, we used to roll with them, but no, nah, they're, they're not cool anymore. Thanks to Big Boss. So, anyways, we go that way, you can already see where we need to go. There's like the little fence that's blocking us, so let's keep following the mice. 
all the way to the very end. So we can finally make our way right in here. So we took the elevator, the main elevator, to get here. Now we've got to take another elevator down. But before we do anything else, let's actually talk to Maylene and save it. So we don't have to do all that again. What's up, Snake? So there we are. We got our new file. We have 11 blocks free. So let's go ahead and use this one. Press X to select it. No, it says press X to select memory card. Circle is the new file we're going to save it on right there. So 19 minutes in, we're at the tank hangar. Let's go. Snake, remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. We'll learn about each other, I, I assume. I'm sure of. So here we are. I'll press select again. Want to talk to me even more? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do that. Because, like I said, now we got to take another elevator down. So we make it here, so we can go down to the basement here. So let me just check around here. There's that. Then there's this. Whatever that means. Got some guys here by the tanks. Let's not get caught like she said. Take her advice. He's coming this way. He's coming that way. So I should be good down here for right now. Alright. Let me just explore a little bit before we do anything else. Because I know where the elevator's at, obviously. As much as I played this game, let's go up here. Oh. And then crawl our way. So the surveillance camera don't see us. So that's always nice. So all these doors up here we can't really get to yet anyways. So it's really no use being up here yet. But we will eventually. Don't worry. And over there, that's the ladder you go up to. But there's a thing over there. I'm going to get it anyways. Fuck it. But anyways, that's the ladder you climb up to to go through the air vent. For the upstairs portion when we were outside. Oh, actually, this is open too, ain't it? Yeah. So this is going to be worth going through. Okay, he's turning. Thought he was going to stay in one place. And yeah, turn your little ass. I don't want you to see me. I'm naked. I gotta arm myself. Give me this. So we got thermal goggles. That's definitely going to be helpful throughout this whole playthrough. For sure's. Alright. But also, you want to do this now because then there's going to be an enemy up here later. So we can actually, you know what, we pro we'll probably take the ladder now, so some more shaft grenades. It's going to be useful for those freaking surveillance cameras so we don't have to always go through it. So you just press circle the action button to go up to it. We'll try to explore, hopefully it's not too dark. Because I usually have issues with that being too dark in here. Alright, let's see what we can do, let's see what we can do. This is going to take us back outside on the top portion, so this would have been another way that you could take. So now we have no mice to lead us, just just us, the snake that we are. And we eat mice, don't we? Us as snakes. There's more of the tank hanger. I think that was the room we were in to get the thermal goggles, which is over on this side. Don't worry. And we actually do have our cigarettes, by the way. <laughs> Saw the snake's favorite brand, smoking is hazardous to your health. Yes, that's true, but, you know, all the stress, you gotta smoke. I can understand that. Alright, oh, what's this? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Oh, wow. Well. There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. 
He's killed three people? Yeah. That can't be us. Stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. Oh, well. Some evidence right there. So, there's someone else here besides us. Besides us, because there's no way in hell we killed anyone yet. Yet. Until we get caught. Other than that, I don't really intend on killing any of you fuckers just yet. Depends how you look at me, I guess. These fucking war eyes you see here. I've been through a lot, alright? That, that's why I smoke. Anyways, here it is. Now we're on the top portion. Where we could have gotten in, actually. Which is more harder. Much more difficult, but... Considering you don't get to talk to Donald Anderson... Well, not Donald Anderson, but... McDonald Miller. Alright, so this guy, we gotta... Ooh! Ooh, I said we gotta be careful here. Because he's coming this way. So we're gonna have to, like, flip his ass or something. Or choke him out. <laughs> flipped him. Alright, let's go. Yeah, who the fuck flipped you? I don't know. So anyways, here, here it is. And there's the surveillance camera that would have been blocking us right here. So, just showing you multiple ways, but... We gotta be careful, because this guy could definitely come back on us. He's all the way over there right now. I need to go back real quick before he comes. Alright. Now we just gotta wait for his ass again. And then flip him, because I wanna go over there and see what's over there. Actually. Come on, mate. Go, 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 go. No, <laughs> just... That's all I got. Is there anything over here? Okay, we've got some bullets. That's definitely useful too. For later. But other than that, you can't really do anything with it until you get the SOCOM, so that's why going down there first would, would be really good because you need the gun in order to use the bullets. So we'll just go back through here. I mean, we could go back down, but we ain't, we ain't risking that again. I know my way back through here, so. I needed the mice for the other one, so <laughs> that's the deal. And then for them to fucking kill my rat brethren that helped me through that cutscene that they said. Just gonna smoke this whole event out and get rid of them. Fuck you guys. Now I'm tempted to kill. No. Alright. Well. As long as we don't get caught doing it, it's okay. <laughs> right? Uh, but anyways, yeah, we have to go through the basement floor, so that's why we have to use that elevator to go find our DARPA chief, and then he'll be on the map, you know, as they explain through the Soliton radar. So we should be able to see him as a green dot on the map once we get there. Because science. Ooh, what's this? Tell me. Action button to drop down. <laughs> is that it? I will, but well, this this is a ration, but like we haven't been using them, and we're still fully stocked because we haven't been using them. So, so we're here. Just press circle. That's the action button, not X. A little different there, but that's fine. So that brings us back down here. Now let's just not get caught. Oh my god. Turning automatically. As we head our way back. Alright. Alright. We, we're good. Just don't get caught by these assholes now. Can we actually drop down? Cause there, I swear there's like ways you can drop down. At least at the beginning where, when you could swim. But I think that's only if you get caught and the alert system's going off. As we only managed to see once so far, just because getting our way through that tunnel is a little bit risky. But it's like the best way to do it. Let's crawl down the steps so we don't get caught by him. The little camera guy. Spying on us. Oh, he's dropping! He's right there. Oh my god, I got caught for a second. Holy fucking shit. Their vision isn't all that good, but... 
hell. So what I can actually do is crawl underneath the tanks as well. So I won't get caught. So that's a little fancy. There he is. Let's wait for his ass. We don't have the radar going, but... There you go. Alright. And then he's going near the fucking elevator, of course. Just look at him. Standing there. Menacingly, I see an item over there, too. It's probably a ration that we don't need. But I'm gonna go for it. Alright. There's the elevator. And that's some bullets. Alright, cool. So press the action button, right? To use the elevator. Snake, use the elevator to move from floor to floor. To call the elevator, press the button on the nearby control panel by pressing the action button. The elevator should show up in no time. Alright, cool. Hopefully faster than the first elevator we took. There you go. See ya, losers. You ain't gonna get me. So he's in basement one. We're on, that's floor one. That's where we're on. That's where we're at now. And he's coming my way. Let's use it before he <laughs> fucking actually sees us. So basement one. That's where our DARPA chief is, Donald Anderson. As you see him on the map, that little green thing right there to our left. The it's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's not really much of a green dot, but we can actually hug against the wall and see him as well. There he is. It's not much of a green dot, though. But it's our right on the radar, but technically Snake's left. So. Let's go through the freaking ladder. Let me see. Let me, let me, let me see. Let me guess. If you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Yeah, I, th I thought so. Thank you. You told me that already. We we've done this like three times already. So, well, three times crawling in a freaking air duct. So there's multiple ways to go. Let's go this way first. Look, look down. Oh, kind of damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. All right, they keep talking about this woman, whoever she is. I think I know. No, <laughs> nothing much down there. Cellcom bullets. We're actually full of those now. We're fully stocked. No longer naked. So that's all that's over here. Not much. This is fun. Totally. Worth the VR training. Oh. But I mean, so far so good. We haven't necessarily really got caught yet. So, Stealthy is being good to us. And we're being good to it. There's the woman. Not him. But she's working out, so she's pretty built. So I'm. I'm sure that's the girl he's talking about. The DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. And that's literally what you have to do to make this cutscene activate. It's just press triangle. So here we go, guys. We're we're here. We made it. Let's watch it. There's the DARPA chief. A lot of story right here. Who, who's that? I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. 
Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But... There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. 
and the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? <gasps> what is it? Shit. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? <sighs> no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. All right. Well, one of them's dead now. Mission success. Oh, looks like something's happening out there. I don't know. But what we can do is actually crawl underneath the bed and hide. Get another ration we don't need because we haven't used any yet but we're about to and good thing we do have bullets because and the socom because we actually do need it for this part coming up all right and we can actually we could have actually seen that person walk by through there but there they are right there in the corner so we'll see what happens Ooh. Oh my god, he was he was definitely naked. Just like us earlier, but so you, you know. Chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Well, we've technically been caught now. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Fucking rookies. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? It's the girl. Open she kicked the security guard's ass. You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. Oh, here we go, guys. This is why we need the gun. Let's do it. Oh. Okay, before I die, let's equip the ration. Because that shit gets used automatically. And I cannot shoot worth a shit. Look at this. Look at this. I'm already out. Just kick his ass. There you go. Teabag him if you want to. All right, what is it? What are you doing? Take care of the bad guys and get the hell out of there. You better use that weapon you found. What? What the fuck do you think I'm doing? All right, I had I had a self defense. All right. But I also forgot you can just you hold waiting? square. Me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! There you go. Now you're learning. Look at that ass. Fucking naked. Do a thousand years of pain on his ass. What a security guard. 
but yeah, he automatically aims. I forgot about that. That's exactly what we've learned. Pick up some more bullets. And some more rations. Get him. Get him, rookie. Nice. Also, tapping R2 reloads automatically. Right, we just gotta get through this little base. Oh, don't get hit by that. Like she did. Or he. Got some more rations, come on now. Alright, we cleared it. Our first alert system. Actually getting caught. Well, somewhat. Part of the story, though. But there we go, we did it. Thanks for the help. No problem, rookie. Wait. With an ass like that, oh my god. It is the girl. Obviously. We can hear it in her voice. You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Now we're starting to face Foxhound one on one, head on. Wow, get the fuck out of here. Hey, that's our mission success stance slash dance. Victory pose. What are you doing? Fucking betraying us like that. Oh, I see. Fucking mind controlling her. What a psycho, eh? Jesus, what a, what do we put ourselves into? I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Obviously. But, there we go. Now we just take the elevator. And just remember this place well. That's a level 6 door. We'll be here later on in the future, for sure. So now we gotta go to basement two, because that's where our president of armed arms tech is. Kenneth Baker. So that's where we're going. And we gotta find that little pane in the wall. And you gotta be careful here too. We better save it after everything that transpired. Would be wise. What can I do for you, Snake? Uh save it, like always, that's all you're good for. So from the tank hanger, let's override it. Yes, and now we're in the armory. Bakery in the armory. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Says you. You guys know me. So we gotta be careful here because there's floors that does that. And we would instantly die, so that's why I also saved it. But now... We can equip our level 1 ID card. When equipped, opens all level 1 security doors. But this one is a level 6, I believe. That's what it looks like. No, level 5. Alright, whatever. But we can open some of these doors to get what we need. And we need these. We need some C4s. Blow up this little wall. That's not exactly solid, so... Alright, and well, if you have it equipped, it already will tell you what, when it buzzes like that. So there's a door right here, that's where we actually need to get into. Right through here, that's level 4 door. Alright, and then in here, looks like nothing right now. Oh, well, SOCOM bullets. Never mind, I lied, there was something. Didn't really get to see them. But there's really no security guards in here, so that's good. Just making sure things are good. So a real solid wall would sound like this. 
But fake one, as you see right here, is a little bit blue when it's painted. As the DARPA chief told us, we can press circle and it sounds a little bit like that. So let me call Campbell, see what he thinks about this. The walls that were cemented over should look slightly different. Yep. Look at the walls carefully in first person view mode. Try to find the walls that have a different pattern. Did you try hitting the wall? Maybe it'll sound different too. Those yes. four explosives you've got should be able to destroy the walls that were cemented over. And that's why we need the C4s, guys. So let's equip that. Uh, press square to set, circle to detonate. So, as you see right here. There you go. That's the wall we need to hit. So let me place that there, get the fuck out of here, and then punch. Should probably equip this now, though. And there we go, we blew it up. We're going in, guys. About to save Baker. Hopefully he doesn't die. Now our radar is jammed because of the harmonic residence. There's the other wall. Oh, press R1 and get rid of it. There you go. Bring it back. Because if I accidentally blow myself up, that will be funny. So I've done that once before. And here's the other one. So there we go. And then let's just go ahead and save it right here before we go in for this epicness. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. It's probably what's coming in that room. I'm pretty sure that that's where it's coming from. That's where Baker is. Be careful, Snake. So I don't blame them for trying to hide him like that. But here we go, guys. Let's let's do this. Going in. Snake head first. There he is. Oh my god, look at this. Am I too lazy? Fucking bombs and wires everywhere tying him up. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. C4. Oh shit, here we go, guys. Right. Touch that wire and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. All C4s, baby. So you Boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Revolver Ocelot. Fuck yeah. Our first boss, guys, from Foxhound. The one and only. I the best. You, solid snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt single action army. Hell yeah. Let me have that, not the SOCOM. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. And I'll show you why they call me Pro Galaximan Snake. Draw! Let's do it! So, this is another reason why we need our gun and be armed with bullets. We've got this fight coming up now. And you see his bullets. I like to angle it. Like through here. Got him. Just wanna stand there? You can't actually and accidentally shoot. Oh. Alright. Alive. Let's go. No, I, was, I was making sure my freaking rations were set automatically. But you can accidentally and actually shoot Baker, so you gotta be careful with that too. And you don't wanna be too close. Ugh. Just aiming with the directional buttons. It, it's the best, but it's also fucking hard, in my opinion. Especially when you're trying to angle it through the freaking wires just trying to guess where he's at right now oh 
And he's reloading as he's running, too. Man, I, I, I pulled it off once, at least. I could show you the game over. But we got him, so it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> we're that damn good. Thank you. Same code as the boss. That's what I was saying. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? Oh shit. This fucking revolver hand. Just cut the fuck off. Kenneth Baker's fucking saved. Huge ass explosion because of it. Who the fuck is this? Is this the other intruder? He said he was using stealth camouflage. Lucky. We'll meet again. Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That that exoskeleton. And that's my favorite fucking character. So much depth. Fucking true ninja. Obviously, he has a sword and he's using stealth camouflage. So he won't be caught like a ninja would. Or wouldn't, I should say, of course. You know what I mean. Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sends you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! 
That's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? 
Oh my god, not again. Oh shit. Those Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went in, did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Well, our health goes up a little bit for doing all that. But other than that, guys, like, holy crap. A lot is happening. And it's just all going to shit. So the two guys that were supposed to save, they're fucking dead already. And they got the access codes to launch the nuke of Metal Gear. So now we got to find Hal Emmerich somewhere. But before then, you know, for him to help us, you know, disarm Metal Gear or even destroy it, I'm gonna have to get in contact with Meryl, which is actually pretty cool. And I guess that's that's her. That's the Colonel's niece. That's the girl that we've been introduced to already. The one that was trying to fucking shoot us, but that's thanks to Psycho Manus. But the only, like, only how you can ever contact her is actually the CD case on the back of your Metal Gear copy, like the actual case where the disc that I'm playing on right now goes in. So I go at the back of it and it shows 140.15 and it says Meryl on there. So that's how you're supposed to contact her. They were serious about that and that's one thing about Metal Gear that's really cool is the fact that they do shit like that and like pretty much break the fourth wall in such a unique way. But, now we also have level 2 card, which doesn't open that, so we have to get out of here the other way. But we will do all that next time. This has been the first episode, guys. This is actually the 59th video of the channel, as Metal Gear began our 50th video ever. So, we're halfway there to 100, so let's just keep going, guys, like always. That's the motto. And next time we will do all that. So this has been our very first episode, our introduction, somewhat, of the actual mission. So now we have another plan to do when it comes to this mission. Let's go save it one more time before we leave. Please. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we get it. I should have just pressed X a while ago. Because that's something she already said. So there you go, guys. So much for saving Baker and Donald. Yeah, we will. Next time. Because this is the end of this episode. So thank you guys for joining me. We did it, guys. We're going through the game. So, man, that's that's a lot of stuff that that's happened. But that's the beginning so far, guys. So I'll see you in episode 2. As we use our level 2 card. To keep on going. So I'll see you guys then.